Hi there, and today I'm really excited because I've just found out I'm going to get a purple classic spaceman. Exactly a year ago, in November 2020, I made a video about LEGO Classic Spacemen colours. Um, and I talked about the original colours you got, the white and the yellow and the blue, and also we uh, got black way back then, and red of course. And then I mentioned the ones that had come along since, so we got a LEGO Ideas set um, with a green Classic Space guy. We got a grey Classic Space torso in a uh, collectible minifig series. Um, which was a rocket boy, and since then I've converted that uh, torso into a full-blown grey classic minifigure. We got a pink classic spaceman in the Benny's Space Squad set um, from the Lego movie, and then recently we got a book with a orange classic spaceman in it, which was a book about minifigures. Now, on January the 1st, Series 22 of the LEGO Collectible Minifigures series is due out. And you can see here from the uh, first pictures that um, the series is fairly normal. There's a, um, a robot guy, there's someone dressed up like a chili. You always have people dressed up as random vegetables. Um, there's what's called a bard, a musician there, an ice warrior with his husky dog. Um, a nice new uh, foal, that was quite interesting, that there's a new um, horse mould coming out. There's a, an ice skater guy, he's got a, a, red, a, a gold cup, he's obviously just one. And some other kind of warrior there. A uh, sort of um, elf woodland person with an acorn hat, that's quite a nice new feature, the acorn hat. And then uh, an, some kind of ornithologist with a new uh, toucan mould there. Um, a guy dressed up as a raccoon. But what drew my attention was this guy, next to last. So if we have a little bit of a closer look, you can definitely see that this guy has got a purple torso and it's got a classic space logo on it. So even though he's an alien, he's obviously in league with the classic spacemen. Um, but having a purple classic space torso is fantastic. But what I need to find out is, can I find all the other parts I need to make a purple classic spaceman? So our first port of call is obviously the Everyone is Awesome set and we got minifigures in a wide variety of colours and of course we did get a purple one. So we've got lots of purple pieces here that we need. We've got purple legs, um, we've got the purple torso which will be replaced obviously by the one that's uh, going to arrive in January. Um, obviously classic spacemen have the same coloured hands as arms, so we can use the purple arms and the purple hands, but obviously we don't need the hair and we don't need the head, so we'll get rid of those two. Next we need a generic smiley face, so here's one I found earlier, and we're going to pop that on our purple guy. The next thing I needed was obviously a set of air tanks, so I scoured Bricklink and went to the air tanks that um, they've made for many, many years, and unfortunately they've never made them in purple. As you can see, if we go to um, air tanks under Bricklink, you can see under the colour information, known colours, we've got black, blue, dark orange, dark pink, green, grey, orange, red, white, yellow, and dark, uh, pearl dark grey. So there's no purple. Um, Price Guide Info obviously has no purple on it either. There's um, never been any purple ones sold because they don't exist. But however, if you look down here, dark purple, there are six people who want it on their wanted list. So other people want dark purple, but they're clearly not gonna get them. So we've fallen with the uh, hurdle of air tanks. We can't get purple air tanks, so he'll obviously have to be an office-based spaceman and not go out onto the lunar surface. So the only other thing that we obviously need is a helmet. Now, classic space helmets do come in, in a very uh, small range of colours, but as you'll see from other versions, the green one had the more modern style helmet, the sort of the racing crash helmet style. So we need to find out if this comes in purple. And another quick look on Bricklink, and we find out it has come been made in purple, but it's only been made for one minifigure ever. And that was a character called Danju, which was from the Knight's Kingdom 2 series, um, and that was released in 2004. And of course, I have that minifigure in my collection. And here he is, he has a lot of purple pieces on him. He's got the purple torso and arms um, and uh, legs, but not purple hips. He's got this cool visor on him, but most importantly, he has a purple helmet. So we can add our purple helmet to our ever-growing 
purple spaceman and there we have him in plain torso version so there we have it not quite complete yet but i'm waiting with bated breath till january the first so i can grab a set of the uh, collectible minifigures and an extra classic purple space torso to put on this guy to join my uh, sort of ranks of different colored classic spacemen yes he won't have his air tanks um but he'll still look good from the front uh, along with all the others with their uh, classic space logos on them let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I do like interacting with people who watch my videos. Are you excited about any of the uh, particular minifigures in series 22 of the collectible minifigure series coming out in January? I'm obviously excited about the purple uh, space guy and a couple of the other ones as well with the new moles for the toucan and the uh, baby horse. And if you've liked this video, please do give it a thumbs up and of course subscribe for more LEGO videos.